Now, I will just show you the first version without deleting this option. So I'm just going to go to SPSS now. Go to SPSS. What you have to do is go to File, Open, Data. Remember to change this to Excel file and then select that sheet one you have there and then click on Open. You can see the Excel file version is currently not supported by the Excel DAC out of memory error or code, please convert to Excel 97 2013 format to increase Java IP size. So what this is trying to say is that there is a problem with the Excel file. You might have to convert that Excel file to something else. If you get the same error, all you have to do is click on OK, go back to your Excel file, and remember to go into File, Save As. You can actually change the format of the Excel file here. And you can change it to the 97 2003 version as recommended. So I don't have the 97 2003 version as recommended here, but what I'm going to do is actually save this file as an Excel workbook instead of the 97 2014, which is the current format that it was downloaded. Now, once you change that, I'll give it a name and call it the changed file, changed file format, Excel, and then just click on OK, and that's it. Now it's changed to Excel workbook and it's changed file format, Excel. So now go back to here, go to file, open, and then data. And what do you get when you change this to Excel? You can see your files now, and this is the one we're interested in, the changed file format, Excel. Click on open, and then it will tell you read variable names from the first row of data. That's what's going to happen. It's going to read this first, but you see we have two. And the problem is that one is going to be read as the variable name, and the second one is actually going to be treated as a case, a valid person in the file. So once you click on OK, just click on OK, the file is going to be imported into SPSS, but you will discover the problem, which is why you will have to remove this one. Now, if we just minimize that screen, you can see that everything you have is string. And why is that string? That's because this variable here, this line here, is actually being treated as a person. So what you have to do is delete this first line and leave this one as the name. So we're going to do this process again cancel this and go to file, open, data, and then change this to Excel. Remember that we changed the file format and then click on open. Now read variable names from the first row of data. Click on OK. There you go. Now you can see this is the new one, but as you notice, we still have problem with string data. What is the problem we're having? Let's go back Again, when we did this, we need to save whatever we did. We didn't save it, so that's why you still have it. Remember to save it and then go back. Close this one. No, we don't want to save it. Go to File, Open, Data. Change this to Excel again. Select the Change File Format Excel. Open, click on OK, and the new one is going to pop up now. Now, that's your new variable. Let's go to Variable View. As you can see, it's all numeric. Compared to the first one where we didn't delete the first label, you can see that all this are string because the line at the top is treated as a valid person, whereas it's just the second label. And this one, it's all numeric except the questions that are actually string questions that the participant were asked. Now, that's how you can easily import your data from Excel to SPSS. And that's how you can download your file from SurveyMonkey into Excel. Let's just go back again. When you click on export all and you select all responses, click on Excel file. Remember to change it from actual answer text to numeric value. The next step will be to code your variable into the SPSS file. And to do that, you would need a printed version of your questionnaire, or you can use what you have here and then find out what is the label for this line and put in the label for this line. We've covered data entry into SPSS in one of our videos. You can just pop over to our channel and check our playlist on SPSS data entry to find out how you can actually enter the labels for each of your questions. Now that's how you can import Excel file into SPSS. I hope you found this video very helpful. Subscribe to our channel and check out spssboss.com 
for other videos and other step-by-step -step guide for you to analyze your data in SPSS successfully.